I know everyone has heard about that civil unrest going on there over there in the UK. People looting, riots going on, breaking into stores, people being hauled off to jail, people being hurt left and right. And what they say sparked this whole situation was three little girls ages six, seven, and nine were actually stabbed and unalived out there in, at a Taylor Swift dance concert out there in the UK. And several other people were hurt, harmed, and injured, you know, by a Rwandan a Rwanda man, a Rwandan tether, age 17, toting around a knife, you know. And they didn't actually say why this crazed tether did this, but... There wouldn't be no excuse why he did this at, you know, absolutely none at all. You know, he wasn't dealing with a full deck, if you ask me. But, yeah, I guess they keep it, you know, a lot of stuff with this tether under wraps because he's only about he's only 17 years old. So I guess, you know, under law, they might have to keep it under wraps since he ain't of age or something like that. But, yeah, it's just a sad situation. My condolences go out to them three little white girls who lost their lives because, yeah, anytime innocent children are harmed, it's just a sad situation. And this led to mass riots over there in the UK. They say that right right wing extremists, right wing uh, white supremacist groups were out there facilitating the, not a lot of this nonsense. And people that were in opposition to that, protesters of this right wing, were out there also. But yeah, they say that. Uh, Somebody falsely printed up that it was done. This was done. This heinous act was done by immigrants and Muslims. So people were harming mosques and harming um, immigrant people. But from what I gather in videos I've seen, there was a lot of black folks out there being harmed. And it was an African Rwandan tether that done this. So, you know, they never like to talk about black people being harmed. They'll try to say it was it was dealing with anything other than sun under the sun other than black people being harmed but this crazed tether might just put a bullseye on black folks over there in the uk's back because i've seen videos of a lot of black people being harmed over there in the uk and i also see something where some of those african nations put out a trip advisory advising africans from from over there not to go to the uk so you never know because I don't like to see nobody, you know, be harmed unjustly, no matter what color they are, no matter what religion, etc. they subscribe to. Nobody deserves to be justly unharmed, you know, but justly harmed, I mean, yeah, no one deserves that. But it's just a sad situation because those little girls didn't deserve to lose their life either. My condolences goes out to everyone that was hurt, harmed and injured and especially those three little girls, family. You know, but it's just he, this is why we had to delineate as black foundational black Americans, because a lot of the times when black people, not even of our lineage from anywhere in the world, go commit a heinous act, that'll get dumped on blackness. And nine times out of ten, when you think of somebody black, you think of a black American because we the ones that's moving and shaking the most, you know, on the TV screen, this, that or the other, not to toot our own horn, but we as black black Americans catch a lot of heat when other people do stuff. So that's why the delineation movement was important to set ourselves aside to say, you know, don't dump that on everybody black, you know, because whenever, you know, when somebody catches a win that's from somewhere else, you know, it'll be about where they from, their particular country, Ghana, Haiti, you know, you get my drift. But then. When a crime is committed, then they want to put it on the banner of global blackness. And a lot of times we as black Americans got to wear that. So, you know, we just have to call that as aspect of things out as, as well. But my condolences goes out to three little girls that lost their lives and everyone that was hurt, harmed and injured in this, you know, senseless thing that didn't need to take place. Just my thoughts on the matter. Peace.